So the latest 101 Outriders trailer basically gives you an all you need to know about the game from its classes to loot to builds to mods to crafting endgame and much much more. This trailer released yesterday although for many of us there wasn't anything new here in terms of actual information there were some hidden legendaries in terms of weapons and armors which will be available in the full game and that's what we check out today. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So going through the trailer frame by frame as I do I've indeed spotted somewhat 25, 30, 35 new legendaries. So let's start and first up people we have a gear set for the Devastator now this is a 5 piece gear set known as the Statues gear set. And as you can see it does indeed look super super cool. Now as of right now out of respect for people can fly, I won't be disclosing exactly what this armor set does nor what the weapons do we will be looking at. But a video will be coming very soon indeed where we check out every single weapon and what they indeed offer in terms of mods so stay tuned for that. So here we see the same gear set for the Devastator but we also see it's holding that legendary shotgun the Funeral Pyre which we know shots cool down those comets. I mean how cool is that? I do believe this to be the first actual gameplay image we have seen so far besides the inventory shot of this weapon. Next up guys we have this trickster in what is bizarre looking but cool at the same time armour. This again is a 5 piece armour set called the Edge of Time. The weapon we see on his back is also a new legendary and this one's called the Time Ripper and it is a legendary assault rifle. Next up guys we see this I believe Technomancer running with this sniper which I can confirm is also a new legendary and this one is called the Icarus. Next up guys we see a Technomancer in that legendary 5 piece armour set, this is called the Grim Inventor. How cool does that sound? The weapon this techie is using is a new sniper, another new sniper called the Head Hunter. Next up guys we see this image where it's hard, well kind of hard to get a clear shot of even from the trailer. But the weapon here is legendary, it's a new assault rifle called the Juggler. We will see it again later on in the video. Next up guys we see this pyromant for showing off in this new 5 piece legendary armor set. This is called the Lava Lich. Next up guys within the trailer we get this shove all four classes. From left to right we have the Technomancer and his cool looking legendary armor called the Borealis Monarch. The weapon he is holding here is the Rayrog's Gaze. Next to him we have the Pyromancer in that same Lava Lich gear we just saw. The weapon here is the Heir to the Desert Legendary which is amazing. Next to that we see the Trickster in the Edge of Time arm holding a new legendary weapon called the Imploder and this one is a double gun. And lastly here guys we have the Devastator. Now this armor set is called the Seismic Commander set and it is again a 5 piece legendary set. The weapon he is holding here is a legendary like machine gun called the Damascus Offering. Next up guys we get another shot of all 4 classes, this time wearing different gear holding different weapons. From left to right we have the Technomancer in that torrential downpour 5 piece gear set which is legendary by the way and the weapon he's holding here is the Icarus sniper we saw earlier. Next we have the Pyromancer wearing that 5 piece reforged legendary gear set. Here it's holding the weapon the Voodoo Matchmaker which is available in the demo. Next to him is the Trickster in a Chrono suit armor set. Yes this is a 5 piece armor set we've seen previously. The weapon he's holding here is a legendary shotgun called the High Roller. And lastly here we have the Devastator in a 5 piece legendary armor set called the Marshal. The weapon he's holding here I do believe is a new set of dual pistols called the Bolt and Thunder which are indeed legendaries. So the next image showcases the Absolute Zero Assault Rifle and this isn't the first time we've seen this legendary weapon. Next up people we get a brief glimpse at the Infernal Seed which isn't new again to us we have seen this one before. We then see another new weapon another new legendary weapon called the Darkness Charmer which is a prompt action shotgun. We then see this legendary sniper rifle called the Spirit Hunter looking absolutely amazing for sure people. Next up guys we see a Pyro, Devastator and Technomancer in that legendary armor we've already spoke about. But the Pyro is wielding a new legendary weapon called the Lucky Jinx and this is a new double gun people. 
The Devastator here is holding the Roaring Umbrella Legendary, which is a new light machine gun, which looks incredible, and we have seen this one in the past. We then briefly see this image right here, and I mean it's briefly within the trailer. Here we do see a new legendary weapon known as the Shirog's Excrescence, which is a new legendary double gun. This next image guys, we see a Technomancer and a Trickster both rocking new gear. The armor the Technomancer has on here is called the Plague Sour. It is a new 5 piece legendary set. The weapon the Technomancer is holding here is known as the Anamwa, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong, but it is a new automatic legendary shotgun. The trickster here is wearing the 5 piece legendary set known as the Trespasser. The weapon the trickster is holding here is that same weapon we could barely make out from earlier on in the video known as the Juggler. And people, there we have it guys, the new legendaries I have spotted within the latest 101 Outriders trailer. There's probably a few more here hidden away, but for the most part I've covered all the new ones. So yes, tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comments section. And guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.